What a cunt. So Treyarch have absolutely pounded us with zombies information. What else? What else? Yeah, they've given us so much zombies news. I feel like I'm about to die of ligma or something. Like, Jesus. My brethren, I'm sorry. You know, I just had to put a ligma meme in here somewhere. It had to happen. But I'm just gonna, like, kick you in the face with some memes and then stuff your face with some news. You know, that's what we're doing out here. Because Treyarch zombie, like, there's just so much. I could not make individual videos about this, so this is just gonna be like five pieces of news and memes, of course, rolled into a nice, I don't know, like Swiss roll or something. Now, lads, of course, hit that like and subscribe button. Like, I literally shut up, man. But of course, subscribing will help with my fight against Ligma and whatnot. But let's get into this. So, I don't know if it's just me, but Black Ops 4 Zombies seems literally perfect. A 10 out of 10 thick slice of cake. You know, it's. Wow, you know, 10 out of 10. If I was God himself, I do not know what I would change about Black Ops 4 Zombies. I mean, obviously we haven't played it, but every piece of information that is droppling, droppling isn't a word, dripping down, dropping down, all the trailers, all the intro cutscenes, it just seems perfect. They're doing everything possible. It's amazing. So the first thing here is just insane. Zombies Chronicles 2, so at Comic-Con, there was a QA and a and the director of Treyarch Zombies, Jason Blundell, was asked, you know, like, Zombies Chronicles 2 question mark, and he said, is there any interest? We'll see what we can do. I mean, <laughs> Treyarch are juiced up, man. Like, Activision are giving them some white powder, and they're just taking it in. Like, Black Ops 4 Zombies has four maps on launch, and then there's rumours that both storylines are going to be getting DLC maps. So that's, like, eight DLC maps. And then Zombies Chronicles 2 with my main man Transit, Diarise, Buried, Call of the Dead, Mob of the Dead, uh, Nuketown. Like, what even? Straight like a madman. Like, there's gonna be like 20 maps on Black Ops 4 by the end of it. Like, what? That's like, I, what? And of course, Zombies Chronicles 2 is coming because Zombies Chronicles 1 made Activision so much money they bought a damn planet. Yes, that's a true story. Of course. Now, you know, sitting on the peak of human evolution, I can see quite far since I'm quite high up, high up on the ladder. And I could see specialists coming to zombies from four months ago. Here it is right here. And yes, the special system from, you know, Black Ops 3 multiplayer and whatnot is coming to zombies. So the other day when I said that these Black Ops 4 leaks were more real than the moon landings, I wasn't lying. So Black Ops 4 zombies is just gonna be filled of spicy, zesty, juicy specialist weapons. Takio's Katana, the DG5s, I'm guessing that's just gonna be the ground slam from Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Uh, a minigun, a flamethrower for Nikolai, like Thor's hammer, the staff scepter thing. These things are just dope as hell, man. And then throughout the match, you can upgrade and level up these specialist weapons so they're even more power. By the end of the game, lads, you're just going to be yeeting everyone. Like, wow. Let's hope it's not too OP, though. What would you say if I told you that Treyarch snapped and put factions in zombies? Yeah, they did it. So now there's going to be factions, right, which are like teams. The names are on the screen right here. That you can join. They have their own story and quests, like narratives. And you can progress through... Like, the ranks, I guess. Like, it's, I, I don't know what's happening. Like, literally, Treyarch, what are you doing? So I'm guessing these are going to be, like, mission teams from IW Multiplayer, if you guys played that. Yeah, me too. Rank, rank, rank 18. Played the beta more than the actual game. So, you know, zombies used to just be a bonus mode in Call of Duty. Then it became a, a pillar. Something that you expect, especially from Treyarch. Now, gee, my, zombies is just... You know, multiplayer is down in the dust, apparently, and zombies is just the thing right now. Zombies is the main part of Call of Duty. Like, imagine that. It's like going from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3 zombies. It's like five steps were taken. Then going from 3 to 4, it's like 20 steps. It's just, there's so much here, and we're not even done yet. And also, I'm not sure where this comes from, probably the Comic-Con Q&A, but I've just heard this, that apparently what faction you play as can affect the story. So... You know, people are saying, like, my main man Dalek out here saying that. Maybe there's going to be four different endings to the Chaos story in DLC 4, depending on what team you're on. Like, a super easter egg with four different endings. Alright, let's be honest, that sounds a bit too much. That's AIDS. That's, that's AIDS right there, lads. Last thing, we are actually being drowned in new zombies information. It's honestly hard to keep up and know about everything. The last thing is, this is now twice that Jason Blundell has hinted at character customization in Black Ops 4 Zombies. And, wow, like I said in another video, 
this has just ticked all the boxes of stuff I said zombies needs to do, needs to explore. Because once again, there is events and stuff also confirmed. Just like multiplayer has events, but now for zombies. So basically, people asked him at Comic Con, is there ways to customize our character that haven't been announced yet? And he said, yes. And then also at the Black Ops 4 reveal, people asked him about character outfits, like specifically saying outfits changing, you know, what it's going to like you can do a multiplayer. And he said, I think he said like maybe, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he kind of hinted at it. So that's twice now, it hasn't been confirmed. But imagine that, you do a challenge, I hope it's not a supply drop system, I hope it's challenges. Like, if you do this, if you complete the Blood of the Dead Easter egg, you can play as Primus in Blood of the Dead, wearing, you know, like, the mobster uniforms, wearing... Maybe ghillie suits, maybe Rick Toffin can wear a group 935 lab coat, maybe Dempsey can wear like a tank commander suit, you know, you can get all this, this different stuff, maybe face paints, just dope stuff like that man, like, that would be absolutely insane, we're gonna have to wait and see what that's all about because, wow, I'm just rambling here now. You know, Infinite Warfare had those characters that you could unlock after the Easter egg, like the celebrities, and World War 2 has those terrible random ass characters that no one cares about. So hopefully Treyarch does the best and just adds, you know, different skins for the characters that we know and love. So lads, I've just talked like two minutes without breathing, please send help. So that was that, you know, there's so much news, I wanted to try and put it all into one video, but being entertaining, trying to be funny, memes and that, you know, trying to be different. But I hope I, I, hope I got the good mix, lads. Stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one. This is exhausting, but it's hype. I'll see you in the next one.